Welcome, week one, stardom or sit here. I am Jason Gilbo here at Fantasy Football Cafe. Uh, looking at some on-the-fence matchups for week one. There's a couple of low-scoring ones that I want to avoid. There's also some high-scoring ones where I'm just firing up all kinds of players in those games. Uh, you got the New Orleans and the Cardinals there. A uh, big-time matchup that kind of getting overlooked as a big passing opportunity for both sides. Um, you also got the big Monday night game against the Falcons, Falcons and Eagles, which is just going to be a points fest. Um, but you also got some low-scoring games like Jacksonville and Carolina. You have, um, you know, you got the Redskins out there with the Dolphins. Uh, should be a good sign for the Dolphins, but you got the other side, which is probably not going to score a ton. You got Jets, Browns, you know, matchups like those where you're going to avoid other than maybe a player or two, which I'll name in a little bit. Um, starting with quarterback here, Eli Manning. Uh, some have been skeptical about him, but uh, just signed a major deal with the Giants. I was hoping that would come a little later in the season, so, you know, he have something to play for, but uh, you know should have another monster year. Um, Giants running up tempo offense, going to lean on the passing game for points. They're going to be playing, uh, maybe not necessarily from behind, but they are going to be in a shootout with the Cowboys this week. So I do like Eli and company. Um, you know I also like uh, with Victor Cruz. You know going to miss week one there. Uh, Larry Donald a nice nice uh, pickup or start if you have him. Uh, he'll definitely benefit from that. So. Uh, back to Eli, I mean, this game is a monster total of 51. Uh, I really expect a back and forth affair from both sides. Defenses are, are average at best, uh, you know, with the Cowboys. Um, Giants defense, pretty bad altogether. Um, but, you know, Eli's got a great core around him. You got Ruben Randall, uh, of course, Odell Beckham, adding, adding uh, Shane Vereen in the passing game out of the backfield. Nice grab there. You know, I own plenty of shares of, of Eli, uh, grabbing him as a late round guy. Uh, I'm starting him with confidence. I'll be starting him with confidence a lot of the weeks. Uh, next one here, Carson Palmer. Um, back from his injury last season. Going to face a pretty tough uh, injury for the secondary for the Saints. Uh, not a lot of guys there. You got Bird and Lewis, both two key guys out. Um, you know, cards are loaded with talent um, on, on the wide receiver core there. John Brown, Larry Fitzgerald, a questionable Michael Floyd who may get in the lineup. Um, you know, I really, I think John Brown's probably my favorite guy out of the three there. Um, kind of developed nicely with Palmer. Uh, Palmer had a nice a nice run before tearing his ACL. 11 touchdowns, 3 interceptions. Uh, threw for 1,600 yards. Vegas has this one as a juicy point total there. I'm going to buy that one. And uh, I don't expect much out of the run game for both teams. Um, and, you know, the only the only downside is can the offensive line protect uh, Palmer enough to to get the ball out, which I think he can. I think you're going to see some points from both sides. I think you're going to see Ellington really work in the passing game pretty well. Um, so, you know, start start Palmer there with confidence too. Uh, sitting this week, Teddy Bridgewater, a popular rate, late round guy. Not on the radar for me just yet. I expect both sides to be heavily pounding the ground, um, especially with AP being back for the Vikings. And uh, the matchup, just not my favorite for this week, although I do like Bridgewater. You'll see him start him uh, some weeks here, but uh, there's just better low-end options if you are streaming. Uh, I really like Andy Dalton against the Raiders this week. He's going to put up some points. Uh, moving on to the next one. This one has some complications because Cam Newton comes in as a, as a top quarterback, but the week-to-week -week inconsistency is not something I really like, and I think this is going to be a, the case this week where uh, we don't see a lot from Cam Newton. I think both sides are going to try and run the ball. I think it's going to be just kind of an ugly grinded out type of game. Uh, it's got a really low total. I'm also curious to see how Newton does with his targets. I mean, Greg Olson's there, but kind of elsewhere, not a lot to, to look at. I think Jonathan Stewart's going to get a pretty big, pretty, uh, pretty big, um, you know, touches there. Um, you know, I'm just not, not buying them. If there's other guys out there, I'd rather roll, roll them over Newton for the week. Uh, moving on to running backs, uh, one of my favorite backs this week is Chris Ivory. You likely snagged him up later in drafts or towards the mid to late rounds. I think he's going to be a, a workhorse for the Jets here, which that's kind of the talks coming out of camps. Um, or not camps, but, you know, the reports coming out recently. Uh, this is, Once again, this is going to be one of those ground and pound games that work in our favor with Ivory. Going to get goal line looks, going to be used a ton in early down situations. I don't see them throwing the ball a lot um, against the Browns. Um, you know, Jets will put up some points on the ground if they can get things going because, uh, you know, Brown's defense hasn't been great against the run, especially last season. Uh, if you're looking for a bounce back year from Doug Martin, it's going to probably start this week. Uh, I don't see the Bucks really trailing, so I don't see Winston throwing a ton. 
uh, from behind, which would knock Martin out, but I do see him mixing it up pretty well because I do like uh, Winston as a streamer this week. Um, you know, last season, Tennessee, a lot of 4.4 yards per carry. Uh, not great. Like I said, I think play calling is going to be pretty mixed. I think you're going to see Martin bounce back. A lot of praise for him in, in the offseason there and getting back in shape. Going to take some pressure off Winston. I really like him, too. Uh, back to this Panthers and Jags game. TJ Yeldon, uh, it's a kind of a mystery right now because I don't really want to take a risk on him uh, this week. His preseason was pretty limited. If there's other options, I'd rather go with him or rather go with them over Yeldon here. Uh, playing against a, a decent Panthers uh, run game or run defense here, uh, I don't see Yeldon with a ton of scoring opportunities. That's my issue because I think he's going to need a pretty uh, healthy dosage of, of touchdown looks to have any real success for fantasy this season. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of frustrating weeks for Yeldon. I think this is going to be one of them. Uh, going to the wideouts here, Stevie Johnson, uh, possible streamer earlier this week, and I am upping that now because Ladarius Green questionable for Sunday's matchup against the Lions. Uh, you know, with a concussion. This means Johnson's going to sit behind Allen, Keenan Allen and Michael Floyd there. Um, you know, Floyd being that deep threat, I think Johnson's a little, a little safer play, um, not quite as boomer bust. Um, I think he's going to get plenty of looks from, from Rivers there because, you know, Detroit's got a pretty pretty tough run defense. I think Rivers is going to be forced to throw a little bit more. Um, so I think you're going to see Johnson work in the game pretty nicely. Really like him in PPR leagues, um, but, you know, definitely roll him out in the standard as well. Uh, I'm also going to be a collective hole on any wideout starting in the New Orleans Arizona game and the Philly Atlanta game, but obviously Philly Atlanta features a ton of of wideout weapons that you probably don't need me to tell you to start them. Um, guy I'm 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 hitting the bench with this week is Andre Johnson. Uh, kind of got hyped up for for the draft season while we're doing fantasy drafts and all that stuff. You know, moving to this high powered Colts offense. I don't think we're going to see that high powered Colts offense this week. Um, just due to being in Buffalo and being against a tough Buffalo Bills defense, if the Bills establish any sort of run game at all, it's going to be pretty tough on luck to get a lot going with time of possession, um, moving the ball. Um, I still think you know the offensive line needs a lot of work. Um, and, you know that Bills front seven is is pretty vicious, uh, especially at home. So I think it's going to be a tough offense. I think the Colts do pull out a win here and pull out enough points, but I don't think it's going to be enough to go around. Don't really like a lot of the wideouts outside of T.Y. Hilton this week. Um, moving on, Vincent Jackson, allergic to the end, end zone last season. And, uh, you know, while he should top last year's touchdowns, uh, I don't think it's going to be by much. Evans back to practice today. He's going to be the guy. You got ASJ there, tight end. Um, you know, I think Jackson still sits if Doug Martin gets anything going. Um, he's going to be down on the list until uh, the Bucks prove him otherwise. Uh, getting to the non-sexy positions, you got your tight ends and your your defenses. Uh, Larry Donnell this week, I uh, really like him and kind of a low option. Charles Clay, if you got a backup or a deep bench, uh, Colts defense not that great. Yeah, the only risk is with Tyrod Taylor and how well he can throw the ball. But uh, I like the matchup against a, a poor Colts D. Uh, and then heading staying in that game. Colts tight end is going to be sitting for me a lot this season if, if I own them. Um, just due to all the targets going around that that offense. Yeah, it's high-powered, but I just think there's not a lot to go around for those guys, um, especially with Dwayne Allen. Uh, Flinger probably a down, better down-the-field guy, um, so I would like him a little more. But Allen's kind of off my radar for this season. Uh, defenses, really love the Jets this week. I've been high on them all week. Uh, also, do not mind the, the Vikings. Um I think they're a pretty decent defense uh, against a 49ers offense that, um, you know, kind of going through an identity crisis there. So uh, not a lot of popular defenses that I'm staying away, um, so there's no one worth mentioning there. So week one, going to be interesting to see all these new weapons in, in new places, and uh, should be fun as usual.